Hi, Sam from Guitar Village here, and we're back with the Weekly Roundup. If you haven't seen the Weekly Roundup before, basically we take a handful of the hottest new guitars in, talk about them and show them off a little bit. Well, without further ado, let's have a look at the first guitar. Follow me. So, first up, here we have a gorgeous pre-owned 2020 Loudon S23. Now, the S is one of their smaller size bodies of the sort of regular sizes they do, and this one features walnut back and sides with a cedar top. Now what's nice with cedar is it's really sort of like open and lively straight out the factory, whereas spruce can take a little more time to sort of bed in. Now when you combine that with the walnut back and sides, you get a lot of mid-range pronunciation on the guitar too. Yeah, it's a really nice looking little thing and a great neck profile on it too. Next up, on the other side of me, we have another pre-owned guitar. This is a Gibson J185. Now, this is in gorgeous condition. How old is this one? What did I write down on my little list? This is a 2008 model, and I'll tell you what, it does not look like it's from 2008. This thing has been really well looked after. Nice bit of flame on the back there, or a nice bit of more, I would say, figuring than actual, you know, really heavy flame on there, so it's kind of subtle. And, you know, as we know with maple back and sides, the plainer it looks, the better it sounds. And this one does definitely not disappoint. Okay, well, I think that's it for acoustics. Let's head through to the electric parlors and see what we've got there. Uh, let's go pre-owned first up. We've got an old guitar from the early 70s. We believe it's a 1972. And, you know, if you're a bit of a George Harrison fan, we've got a country gent. This one, though, with a very attractive looking pinup girl on there. And on the back, look at this. Big old sticker, looking great on there. Now, this guitar is probably the least original Gretsch ever made, <laughs> or ever modified anyway. It's had loads of changes done to it. We've reflected this in the price, and I think what you get here is a really cool workhorse, players grade Gretsch guitar from the early 70s. <laughs> Let's head through to the posh room. By the way, uh, last week, if you've not seen it, we put out a shop tour. If you've not been to the shop before, I definitely recommend watching it. It really shows off how big the shop is and actually how many guitars we've got in here. Let's go. Let's go. We're going to go. We've got three left to do in here, actually. We've had a really nice haul of sort of pre owned bits in. First up, right up the top here. Very slick looking of me. We have a 2017 Gibson Memphis. This is an ES355 reissue. It's in the 60s cherry finish. It's got a VOS finish on there too. You can see it all over the gold hardware and it's just sort of, you know, the VOS treatment just takes a bit of the sheen off there. This is an incredible guitar. You know, this is basically the ultimate sort of you know, 300 series guitar in my opinion. You know, cherry red, 355, long pick guard, Bigsby on there. I mean, what's not to love? Okay, next up, from 2011, you don't see these guitars really much anymore. This is a custom shop 
ES137 Custom. Now, they do a sort of more standard version of this. The Custom version basically has these gorgeous split inlays on there. You've got the big split diamond headstock inlay, all the binding around there, gold hardware. This is a really cool guitar. And it's got really nice flame maple back and sides on it too. And a bit of a flame maple top as well. Right, now, last guitar. And lots of flame maple, and do you know what? The last guitar has got even more flame maple on it. We have a 2013 59 reissue Les Paul. Now, this is an interesting one, actually. It's in the Sunrise T-Burst finish, and this top is actually one that our boss picked from the factory back in 2013. He went over to the Gibson factory and said, I want this guitar, I want it to have this top on it, I want it in this finish. And on top of that, it's got a 60s neck profile as well, so this thing is super comfortable and easy to play. <laughs> Well, that's it from the weekly roundup. As always, thanks for watching, and if you want to find out any more about the guitar shown in today's video, the links will be in the description below.